What if this could be your street? What if you could live out here with two acres and a brand new home for under $500,000? Would that be amazing or what? Well, guess what? If you are looking to move to Fort Worth, Texas or the surrounding area, this could be yours. And we're gonna talk about it right now. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know when we put a new video up about living in and around the Fort Worth area, Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So hi, I am Elizabeth Oliva and this is the Fort Worth Home Tours and today we're going to talk about affordable acreage and you can actually get it here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I am on the west side of the Metroplex in an area called Weatherford, which is actually where I grew up. And I am walking in a community right now that has two acre tracks and you can get a brand new home for under $500,000. And no, it's not a small home. You could be a bigger home, 2,500 square feet, four bedroom, two car garage, flex room, game room. Just imagine. Under 500,000, you get the two acres, you can bring out large animals, two per acre, you have a septic, you have a well, you have everything you need, and you're only maybe 10 minutes from the nearest big grocery store. So how does that sound? I think it sounds amazing. So I'm gonna take you around this community called Freeman Ranch, and I'm gonna talk about the builder that is featured here. It's actually their development, and I'm gonna talk about why they're so amazing and why you should buy and purchase a home with them. And then I'm going to take you to another one of their communities that is in a different part of town and you can decide which one you like better and let me know in the comments. So we are here at Freeman Ranch and I am standing at the end of Salvation Drive. These are all two acre tracks and these right here on this cul-de-sac, I want to show you what you could have if you purchase this particular lot. Look at that pond right back here. You'll have that at the back of your property. Nobody else, <laughs> just you and a pond. It is absolutely gorgeous. And you've got all this privacy, as you can see. Again, two acre lots. And it's gonna be septic. You're gonna have your own well. And you can bring out large animals. You can have one per acre. So that means you can have two horses, you can have two cows, you can have two goats. You probably have more chickens. Um, but you can bring animals out here. You can fence your property. Uh, there are some architectural guidelines because there is an HOA. It's only $300 a year. That's amazing. It's, it's basically to maintain the roads and make sure you have good roads here in the subdivision. So lots of freedom tucked back in this beautiful countryside. Just amazing. Now I'm going to take you to another uh, tract of land that has more trees and I'm going to show you what that would look like if your, uh, your pad site for your house was in one in the front part and then you have your trees in the back part. So let's go take a look at that one. So I am standing on another tract of land here in Freeman Ranch, also two acres. Every single one of these in here is two acres. And this one, as you can see, has trees. So right here is your pad site where your home would go on the front of the lot. And then behind you are all these beautiful trees. Of course, most people would want to clear out the underbrush but then you still get to keep all these beautiful tall hardwoods if you want to. I would want to because in Texas, we really do value our trees when we can get them. We do have a lot of wide open spaces, but when we can have some gorgeous hardwoods like the ones I see behind me or you see behind me, you want to keep them. So what, do you, what would you want to do with two acres like this? You could have your own little oasis out here in the country. It's absolutely gorgeous. And listen to that sound. It's spring out here in Texas. The blue bonnets are blooming and the birds are singing. It is an absolutely beautiful time to be out in the country. What if you could be here every single day? You could end your day in a place like this. You could have your home, your beautiful dream home here in Freeman Ranch. I think it would be absolutely gorgeous. Tell me what you think in the comments. Is this something that, that you could see yourself having? Somewhere that you could see yourself being? Would you like to be a little bit out in the country with a little bit of breathing room? Is that your style? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of your dream home, let's now go take a look at my featured builder, Trinity Classic. They have some beautiful homes. 
masterfully built and I'm excited to show you what they look like. I'm going to take you inside one of the models and show you the craftsmanship and then I'm going to give you a little more information about them as a builder, their history, and what makes them so special. So let's go! Welcome to Trinity Classic Homes Abbey Lane model. This model that you're walking through is 2,449 square feet. It has four bedrooms, three baths, and a two car garage. It's a one and a half story home. And on the second story, or the half story, you get a bedroom and a full bath with this model. You can have a game room and a half bath in that area as well. This is the classic series by Trinity, which is their luxury series. This is a series that can be built out there at Freeman Ranch along with their Trinity series. So some of the standard features that you're going to enjoy with your home with Trinity are architecturally inspired elevations, structurally engineered and inspected post-tension foundation, slab foundation, a 30-year high-quality composition shingle on the roof, eight-foot fiberglass front doors with designer quick-set entry hardware, high-performance low-E vinyl windows, fiberglass one-light insulated patio door, cast stone address plaque or raised matte black address numbers per the style elevation. In both of these communities, you are going to have major tax advantages. So in, when you have a home in the city or in the city limits, you're going to have more taxes. We kind of have high property taxes here in Texas. But if you are in either one of these communities, in Freeman or in Stillwater, you're going to enjoy some really low tax rates. Trinity is a wonderful builder that has been building for over 20 years, and they're pretty much local to the Parker County area. They usually stay around that area. And Trinity Classic Homes was the first corporation in a now systematic group of companies. They are also a developer. They developed Freeman Ranch. So they build there, they developed it, and they build there. Something else to consider when you are buying at this price point, two acres, two acres with a brand new construction home for under 500,000, you are walking in with instant equity. I know this area and I know how hot it is. And to be able to find two acres with a brand new construction home in a community like this is amazing. And your values are only going to go up. So you definitely want to think about that as you're looking for where you want to live and where you want to purchase. It's only going to get better. And if you move first, you're going to get the advantage and you're going to come in at a much better price and you're going to gain that equity much faster. Welcome to Stillwater Lake Estates. This is a community, another one with uh, Trinity Classic Homes. And I am standing next to a home that is available that is on almost an acre, almost an acre of land. So this is about 1,900 square feet. It is a three bedroom, two bath with a study that could be another bedroom. And it's $393,400 $393, for the home, brand new construction, and almost an acre, it's 0.9, almost an acre of land. We are in the area, little town called Godly, which is conveniently located between several other towns and not too far from the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, where the kind of the southwest side of it. So you're about 25 minutes from Benbrook, which is southwest side. You're about 20 minutes into Granbury, 20, let maybe 20 minutes into Cleburne, 20 minutes into Burleson, which is on the south side of the FW. You're about an hour to the airport. So depending on what kind of job you have, maybe you work from home, or you go to the airport occasionally to travel, this is a great location. The high school is right across the road from this development, and there are eight lots right here that are going to be half acre to an acre lots, and they're gonna go quick. And then behind me, they're developing the rest of the subdivision of Stillwater Lake Estates. Well, then we'll have a total of 100 lots. So again, it's gonna go quick. And I've got a little tour of this home. It's not complete yet, so pardon the construction, but just to give you a quick peek, of what Trinity Classic can do on this type of lot in this area. So let's go.
my traffic tips and making way, making your way around these two different communities that have a little bit of acreage and they're a little bit further out. So what is around them and how close are the grocery stores? How far is the airport? I wanna show you some of these things on the map. So let's dive into the computer. Okay, so now we're looking at Freeman Ranch. So the closest, I'll show this with my pointer here. Here's Freeman Ranch. And here is Weatherford. So if you were to go into Weatherford, it would take about 10 minutes to get here to the square. And it's, it's a cool square, actually. A lot of cool little restaurants and things like that. So where is the closest Walmart? So let's figure that out. Closest Walmart. Oh, where it is? I just had to type it in. Okay, so right now with a little bit of traffic, it's about 15 minutes. 15 minutes to the closest Walmart. Now here in Texas, H-E-B is a huge favorite grocery store, even more than Walmart. So let's see where the closest H-E-B is. And I believe it's gonna be the one in Hudson Oaks. Yep. So H-E-B is gonna be about 20 minutes. 22, under 25 minutes to get to the H-E-B. Everything you need is at H-E-B. And in between these two, so Walmart is over here somewhere. Walmart is down here. Okay, so in between where Walmart is and the H-E-B over here, there are a ton of restaurants and a big shopping area right here on I-20. I-20 is a major interstate, okay? And so if you were to come right down here by Walmart, Here's also a Target. You've got Chick-fil-A. You've got a lot of restaurants in here. Olive Garden, UPS store. I mean, right here where the Olive Garden is, I mean, and there's a Cracker Barrel. There's, there's a Lowe's. There's everything you need at this intersection right here. I mean, everything is, everything is right here. So basically about 20 minutes from Freeman Ranch, you're gonna find every convenience you, you really need right there. Now, what about the airport? How far is the airport? DFW Airport is our big airport here. So let's take a look at that. DFW, and mind you, I'm doing this around traffic time right now. So it's six o'clock in the evening-ish. So this is with some traffic. You're looking at an hour to DFW Airport. So Freeman Ranch is, it may not be ideal, you know, if you travel all the time, um, it's gonna be a little further out. If you work from home, it's it's a great place to, to live because it's out, but it's not too far out. You're near Weatherford, you're, you're near conveniences, but you feel like you're really far out in the country. So DFW Airport, and I would say Love Field is gonna be about the same distance because it's just a little different direction. Um, so you got the airport, what about hospitals? There are some hospitals right there in Weatherford. Um, let me see if I can show you probably another, maybe within 30, 20, 25, 30 minutes. You have, um, I think it's Willow Park, Texas Health Willow Park. Yeah. So yeah, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to a hospital. You, you've got, um, HEB right there too. You've also got, yeah, here's the hospital right here. Then there's the HEB. And you've got um, all kinds of doctor's offices. You've got emergency, you know, the minor emergency places. All that is in Weatherford. Weatherford has everything you need right there. So if you are wanting to avoid traffic on I-20, I can tell you right here, right through here, right through here on I-20 can get backed up with traffic it can get bad okay never fear though because you can go this way use my pointer again this right here is a loop new actually it's a pretty new road called the rick williamson i think it's rick williamson loop this loop first of all it's beautiful it's a beautiful drive it it makes you think you're in austin it's, it's hilly it's gorgeous um but the the loop it goes from one side of I-20 and bypasses Weatherford and goes to the other side. So if you hear you've got traffic and you're coming in from Fort Worth and you wanna avoid it, you can hop on this loop 
and it'll take you right up here to Freeman Ranch and you can avoid whatever's happening here on I-20 because <laughs> it can get kind of, it can get kind of crazy sometimes. So that is a little bit about Freeman Ranch and what you have near you at Freeman Ranch. So what about Stillwater Lake Estates? Let's take a look at that. So Stillwater Lake Estates is in Godley, basically right here, okay? And Dallas-Fort Worth, as you can see, here's Fort Worth, here's Stillwater Lake Estates in Godley. So if you needed to get to a major grocery store, like a Walmart, okay, you have many options from here. You can go down into Cleburne, about 20 minutes. There's an HEB down there. You can go over to Burleson. It's about 20 minutes over there. So if you went here, up here and over here, the HEB is about right here. So it's about 30 minutes into Granberry, but HEB is not all the way into Granberry. Crescent really doesn't have hardly anything, okay? Not really much of anything. At gas stations, and you're about 10 minutes up, up the road to a gas station there. If you come up here, my pointer again or my marker if you come up here and hit, hit on 377 you can come in here to Benbrook and so Benbrook has a lot of options for you you've got um, your Walmart got black rifle rifle coffee you you've got a major grocery store right here so that's about about 25 minutes if you want to come in to that area of town and also right here on the southwest side of Fort Worth you have a major mall, you have Sam's, you have Costco, you have Lowe's, you have Home Depot, you have Hewlin Mall, you have all of that right there. You have some private schools right here, a lot of different private schools right here. Um, on This is the southwest side of Dallas-Fort Worth or Fort Worth Metroplex. So Godley or Stillwater Lake Estates could be good if, if maybe you do travel down into Cleburne, maybe you work in Cleburne, maybe you work over in Burleson. Uh, there's a hospital right here, Hughley Hospital, right here in Burleson. So Godley can be a great location if you are working on the southwest side of Fort Worth. Um, not too far at all. It's a beautiful drive out there um, and you're in the country and you feel like you're out uh, and you get a great price on an almost acre, half acre and almost acre lots down there in Stillwater Creek. So a uh, few little conveniences down that way. And again, it's gorgeous country. All of this area down here is really, really beautiful. So another thing to mention uh, right here, if you are living in Stillwater Lake Estates, is you have access to get into Fort Worth pretty quickly because of this right here. You can go across here and you can hop on the Chisholm Trail Parkway. That parkway, revolutionized living in places like Godley and Cleburne. Used to be those places were considered way far out of the Metroplex. They were not considered convenient at all to live there and commute into Dallas-Fort Worth, but that has all changed because of this toll road right here. That has made living in Cleburne and Godley an area that is desirable now, and therefore it is blowing up. So just like in Freeman Ranch, first movers into this area are gonna have the advantage on the equity. If you get in there before everybody else, you're going to see your values go up. You're going to increase your equity sooner rather than later. So I wanted to mention the Chisholm Toll. So I can tell you which one of these developments is my favorite, and it's because I'm from the area. So I'm from, I grew up south of Weatherford off of 171. So I think Freeman Ranch is absolutely gorgeous. That If I were to pick one of these two, that's the one I would pick because I think that part of Texas is gorgeous anyway, and it's, it's where I'm from. So Freeman Ranch is my pick. What is your pick? What do you think is the best one? And where if you could come and buy some acreage and build a home for under 500,000, which one would you choose? Where would you wanna live? 
So I hope you enjoyed this video on affordable acreage here in Fort Worth or around the Fort Worth area. And if you know of acreage that is here in the area and maybe it's even cheaper than even less expensive than what I was talking about in this video, let me know in the comments of an area that maybe I need to go explore to show everyone about. And if you think you could handle a fixer upper, you might be able to get some more acreage around the same distance outside of the Metroplex if you can handle that. I wanted to cover new construction on this video, but if you think you want to go for something else, let me know. Maybe I can do a video on that. So definitely, uh, if this brought you some value, click the bell for notifications, subscribe, and let me know if I can help you by either calling me, texting me, sending me an email or booking a Zoom. I would love to connect with you and see how I can help you even more as you consider moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, especially the Fort Worth side of town. Until next time, I hope to show you around town.